My name is David. I live in Choctaw, Oklahoma. I'm a contracting officer for the United States Air Force, and I'm 49 years old. I was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia in May of 2005. It was the most shocking moment of my life. I had no idea that I was ill. I thought cancer was for someone who was sick. I wasn't sick. The one that I had in the hospital, there was so much going on, I didn't, the pain wasn't the most important thing to me at the time. The second one was painful. The third one was uh, extremely painful. When he takes this corkscrew looking thing and just, to me it looks like he, he was just fishing, you know, pushing and pushing and twisting and you can, when it get, goes through the bone, you can hear it. You can tell when it goes through and it's, that's when the real pain starts. It's a really sharp, intense pain that just, uh, it gets your undivided attention. I just went to Google and I think I, I think I typed in bone marrow biopsy drill. I looked at one and it didn't, I guess didn't say what I thought it should. And then the next one that popped up um, was the on control. And I was looking at it and I read about it and I thought this is, this looks like a pretty good deal. A couple other doctors in there watching and the nurses and amazement, I guess, is pretty much what was going on in that room with everyone except for David because he, he had no idea what was going on. And when it went through the bone, I wish I'd had a stopwatch because it was just seconds and I heard it go through and I thought, wow. I knew that it was gonna be a short amount of time, but that was quick. I think when we said it was done, he thought the first step was done. Mm -hmm. We still had some more to go. And of course the whole room was, we're practically celebrating and he's sitting there with his pants down thinking, what are you guys doing? We're, <laughs> we're not finished. And we're all looking around going, wasn't that great? <laughs> that was so cool. And the other doctor was over there, it was pretty funny, he's like, that was amazing. He was really impressed with it. I need to shake the guy's hand that invented that because that was awesome. <laughs> I could see that it was a good size sample from where I was standing. And I thought, unbelievable. Because when the doctor himself said, the lab is gonna love this, then we knew that he got something that they could really work with. And the pain level, between the, the manual procedure and the on control is uh, night and day. I know I'd made a, a, an analogy about it earlier. It's the difference between my four and a half year old grandson hitting me or punching me and Mike Tyson hitting me. So uh, I, I, I'm absolutely sold on it from a patient standpoint. From my perspective, I don't have to worry about it now. And I think that it's like anything else, the, the worry that you have beforehand is often, probably not in this case, but it's, it's pretty dramatic the, of what I experience. And then the pain in and of itself is just, it's a few seconds and you're over. Really good people at that company, really nice, and they bent over backwards to make sure that they told me everything I needed to know. They, they got our doctor what he needed. Yeah, I can't say enough good stuff about them. And everything that they said about that tool was absolutely true. Everything that they claim it will do, it will do.